YouTube, YouTube. Man, it's been a while. I think it's been like a couple of weeks. Um, so I decided to get up here and make a quick video. I'm at Target in New Jersey. They doing a, a live unload. So waiting for them to finish up my trailer. All right, so let's, let's get this out the way. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for clicking on my channel. I know you could be anywhere else on YouTube fact that you clicked on my channel I greatly appreciate it all right let's get this out the way all right so I'm gonna do a quick review of USA trucks I've been here for about five months now I start I should I should have done one after like 90 days but it is what it is let's get into this review all right so um, USA truck. Let's get into the good. The good, I can pick my own loads. I can go home when I want to. I can stay home when I want to, as much as I want to. Um, got nobody breathing down my back. Um, and that's pretty much what everybody wants. Well, I would say most people it's like I didn't want to DM so I definitely don't I, my D, I do have a DM but it's basically for if I have any questions if I need them to uh, remove a load or if I need them to do something then I call my DM and, and they usually do it but as far as um, having control of my paycheck you know that's all on me um so what is the bad here at USA um, for me, the bad is, um, the trailer situation, the trailer situation. Um, they just got a, a whole bunch of new trailers in. Now, I don't know where they, I think they're, what, what, in Georgia or whatever, but that's probably where they needed the most. Um, Eric. I shouldn't go anywhere. Oh, just like this past weekend. All right, so I go, I drop a load off in Indiana at the um, Walmart Distribution Center. And uh, where the hell was I at? Seymour. So Seymour, Indiana, drop a, drop a loaded trailer and they have no empties, none. I know the last time I was there, they had plenty. So I'm pretty sure that drivers just been going in there that haven't uh, had empties anywhere else and snatched them up, which I mean, you really don't have a choice. So I go out of there and I had to go to Iowa. So I get to Iowa and um, Bob to Iowa and I had a load scheduled to come out on Monday um, and I had to go all the way to Kansas City to grab an empty. So yeah, they gotta get this trailer situation under control because it's just causing people to lose out on money. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, and this is what happened to me and this is what burns me up. So the trailers is the bad, that's that's the bad. But this probably right here is the ugly. Um, Me personally, this is what I experienced. So, I go get my empty trailer from Kansas City, which was three hours away from, well, actually it was like five hours away from Iowa, where I was at. So, um, my load that I had booked was coming out of Omaha, Nebraska, all right? So they're a pretty decent load. Um, I, Honestly, wanted off that load onto a different load, but when I called to do that, the dude was like, "Ah, uh, I can't give because I had booked the load." He was like, "I can't give you that load because you got another load that's scheduled in that time frame." That you, you know, what I'm saying, and you calling too late. It was 24 hours, but it was a broker load. I think with the broker loads that you have to have, uh, you have to get off of them, and before you know, it's got to be like 48 hours. All right, so. Now I got to stay on this load. So I, I go to Omaha to pick up this load. I get there, go
go to the receiving um i mean the shipping door and the dude tells me oh man we had to reach out we had to push out your load to the seven you know and like i'm there on the second my load was supposed to leave on the second so he tells me yeah we had to reschedule your load for the seven so bruh i just drove three hours from kansas city to nebraska omaha for you to tell me that this load has been rescheduled well who dropped the ball and how come i didn't get a notification that said hey look your load has been pushed out so we're gonna take you off this load. I don't know who's dropping the ball. I don't know if it's the shipper. I don't know if it's the uh, account manager or whatever, but like this shouldn't happen. And then, you know, we get for our time, we get some money. I'm just gonna put it that way. But that money doesn't equal the, you know, started your clock, you know, drove for however many hours to get there. And, you know what I'm saying? And whatever fuel that you use to get there for them to tell you that your load has been rescheduled or for that's happened to some people that their load is just totally canceled and they didn't get no type of notice that the load was canceled. Like, really that's that's unacceptable you know what i'm saying as soon as a change happens to that load we as drivers should be notified if it's canceled pushed back whatever you know because we are expected to get to pick up that load on time and to deliver that load on time and that's what we plan for so when stuff like that happens it just throws off your whole week you know what i'm saying i, I was pretty pissed and it, it kind of messed up my whole week because now I had to wait for another load that didn't leave until the next day. Um, so that's the good, that's the bad, and that's the ugly. Is USA still a good company? Yeah, I still it's still a good company. Um, I'm still excited to be here. Um, yeah, overall, it's a, it's a good company. It's giving me everything that I wanted, and um, everything I just told you is my really my only complaints about the company. So, um, hey, I mean, you could say that's trucking, but nah, that shouldn't be trucking. That should be, you know, a that's a communications failure. That shouldn't be part of trucking, you know. So, uh, that's my review. If you're still looking to come over here, by all means, come over here and uh, experience it for yourself. So, without, you know, got any questions, you know what I'm saying, leave it down in the comment section. Um, if you're thinking about coming, I'll leave my info in the description box. But, uh, yeah, so that's my five-month review. And I'm probably going to do another video here to talk about... Uh, my um the missteps i have taken being a lease purchase slash owner operator um yeah so i'm gonna share that with you in the next video all right